Today I'm going to reveal another major hint regarding the difference between the people who are consistently getting profit over and over and over again in the Forex market and the people who are looking at the Forex market and seeing nothing but total chaos. Well, here's how it works in trading. When you go through the process of trading, you are basically sitting at your computer looking at a screen and you're looking at pictures that you see on your charts. Based on what you believe you see in those pictures, then you're going to make decisions to take actions. And you're either going to enter a trade and you're going to buy and go long or you're going to go short or you're going to exit a trade or you're going to take no action and not enter a trade. Well the interesting thing is that when you do take this action and you click on your trading platform and you fill in the information to click on buy or sell for a certain currency pair, your trading platform does not know what time frame you are looking at or what trading method you are using. When it all comes down to it, your trading account only knows that you entered a trade at a certain time at a certain price on a certain currency pair and that's all it knows now the process you went through to make that decision might make a lot of sense to you but if the market goes the other way you will have a loss your account will go negative and you'll have a loss. But if you made the right decision, you'll have profit. And if your decision is a sound one, then you will have profit over and over again rather than just getting lucky now and then. Well, the ability to make these kinds of decisions that generate profit over and over has to do with what pictures you see when you look at your charts because obviously the people who are consistently getting profit over and over and over again they're seeing something different when they look at their charts than the people who are consistently losing. It's a lot like this picture here where you can look at this and maybe you see uh, a picture of a woman's face and then if you squint your eyes a little bit maybe you see that this uh, silhouette is actually a picture of uh, a musician playing a saxophone so one person might see one picture and another person might see a completely different picture and then a third person might easily be able to see both pictures or you take this picture here it looks like two old people an older couple facing each other and then uh, of course you look more closely and there are two younger people wearing sombreros and one of them playing a guitar. <laughs> it's not too difficult to see this so-called hidden picture so I think it's nice that probably everyone can easily recognize that there are two possible pictures depending on where you put your focus. Take for instance this picture here that looks like a frog sitting in a pond and the exact same picture you turn it sideways and it's a picture of a horse. Or if you take this picture, it uh, looks like a couple standing beneath a tree looking out over a lake with uh, tree branches extending above their heads and then if you look closely there is a, a picture of a, a baby or a fetus there and here's the eyes and nose and mouth of the baby there's a baby's head and the baby's hands and then over here is the baby's feet so there's a picture of a baby hidden in that picture now uh, some people may look at that and and never know that that was there unless it was pointed out. But once it's pointed out, then you can have that experience. Aha, okay, now I see that. It's a lot like that in the Forex trading market. 
And then, of course, here's a picture of a horse. And uh, if you look at the horse's head, there, uh, there is a, an image of a woman on the, on the horse's head. And I think that there is some Photoshop involved in that picture right there. And here's a nice picture, an actual nature photograph of three birds flying in the air. And what else can you see there? And can anyone see that, that there's a, a nice little smiley face there going through the air at that very instant? And it was captured on this photograph. And it's really three birds, but you can see three birds or you can see a smiley face. Well, if you've been involved in trading in any of the financial markets, including Forex, and if you've studied any training programs, you know that there are many different things that you can actually focus on when you're looking at charts. Uh, and there are many different things that could influence your decision to take actions to either buy or sell a currency pair. For instance, if your mentor's product is selling information on candlesticks then you might learn to put your focus on these candlesticks uh, the opening and closing of price is displayed and the price range for a period of time and these candlesticks make some formations that tell us certain things about the market but they certainly don't tell us the entire story Oh, you might be focused on pivot points and have a bunch of horizontal lines on your charts so that uh, you can be focused on that. And if, if price approaches one of these pivot lines, it will either stop there or hesitate or go through. And then you'll put your focus on that and use that uh, to uh, make your decisions to take an action or not take an action. You can put your focus on support and resistance in general with different methods of determining what, it, what is support and resistance. You can use indicators such as uh, this oscillator that is moving up and down at exactly the same as price below the price channel. And you can put your focus there and have different levels that tell you if it enters a certain range in this oscillator channel then that is supposed to tell you to buy or sell. You can draw trend lines and look for these trend lines to be broken. And to a certain extent, maybe that has some relevance to whether or not you should take an action to buy or sell. There are many different things that you could look at and put your focus on when you're looking at this picture of your charts and you're using this information to make a decision to take an action to buy or sell a currency pair. And I will respectfully submit to you that if you are putting your focus on most things that traders put their focus on, it is not possible for you to see the picture that you really need to see in order to make the best trading decisions that produce the most consistent profit. In these public videos, you may notice that I often hint about how to actually trade, but I don't actually come right out and show you specifically how to trade. But you can rest assured that our community's video training library includes many, many videos in which I have demonstrated specifically how to see the pictures that you need to see in order to make the most consistently profitable trading decisions. And we continue to demonstrate this live in real time every day, twice a day, and our community trading activity goes on practically 24 hours a day. If you'd like to see an entire series of videos in which we specifically demonstrate exactly what it is that you need to see in order to make these consistently profitable trading decisions, go to forextradingseminar.com.